Okay, this uh, video is for Slider and Granddad uh, that have worked on these um, solar waiver projects for years and years and years. And um, Slider, um, I guess on his last video or something, took the coil out of a relay and hooked it up to one of these little, uh, I call them black dot boards here. They're the solar waiver boards. And... Um, found out that you could use one of these uh, relay coils and get that circuit to work so I had to try it. Um, the relay I got this out of was a 9 volt um, relay and the coil was 400 ohms and I had a bunch of these relays left over from projects I did years ago that were the buzzer projects that you set the relay up to buzz and then you use the back spike to light a light bulb. It worked great except too noisy. But anyway, this was really hard to get apart, and I don't recommend you to get one that's sealed up like this. And then I had to cut and saw and chop, and and uh, that's the coil right there. And like I say, it's um, it's 400 ohms, and it works with one of these little circuits that you can see it down in there. Um, and this one here is uh, the whole thing with the uh, capacitor and the panel on it. And this is running with that 34-gauge uh, coil that it works real good with the 34 gauge coil and uh, the whole setup here but it did work with this relay coil which is 400 ohms and um, anyway I just want to report on that that that's just the guts of one of these solar waivers that's the what I call the black dot circuit board that's just uh, something under that that probably looks something like that I don't know but uh, I, what I do like about this circuit is it self-starts, and uh, this is something I've had trouble with for years and years, is getting a motor that if it stops for some reasons will start itself up again. I'll show you how this works. It puts out a signal that pulses the uh, rotor, and that'll go on for quite some time until finally the rotor starts to rotate around. I'll help it out a little bit here, but yeah, the... Um, circuits um, are the same thing that are in that uh, right there I just took the panel out and put that thing there but um, anyway this was for um, slider and uh, granddad that um, you can use a coil out of a relay and it does work pretty good uh, this thing here is drawn about a milliamp on a super cap uh, it's a super cap with a hundred ohm resistor on the super cap. If you try to put uh, too much voltage into this, it, it overrides it. So you've got to be down to under a volt for that to really work. Uh, I filled this up with a volt and a half and used a 100 ohm uh, resistor to drop it down. Anyway, that's the latest of my little project here. Thanks for watching.